Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we got a special guest. Live from the red carpet of the Met Gala, we have Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian, okay? So I'm like, okay, they hit the Met Gala car red carpet. Um, I thought with this relationship, I'm like, okay, this is fake. That girl don't want that boy. And so, but I'm just gonna have to be honest, just looking at them on the red carpet, I think she, I think she's feeling him. I think she's really feeling Pete. Because look how she's looking at him. And what's better than that, the way she's looking at him. I never seen, first of all, I never seen Kim with this face. This is a different face, so. And she's, she got blonde hair. Okay, Kim, she's no longer black. She's white now. So, give it up for Kim. Give it up for Kim. So, besides that, look how she's looking at Pete, okay. She's looking at him like, okay, she feeling him. And even on top of that, when she was giving an interview with Lala, she was, um, he was, it's like he was kind of like letting her do her thing. He was getting out of the shot, you know, letting Kim do Kim. And Kim was like, no, Pete, come, come, come over. And he came over for a minute and said something that left the scene again. And she's like, no, come back. And she's like, no, come. She gave him like a, like, come. And she grabbed him by his hand and embraced him and held him tightly next to her. We never seen Kim want to share the spotlight with nobody. Okay, she's sharing it with Pete. She is sharing it with Pete, honey. So we got to give it up for that. So, so far it's looking real. So let's see what the cards say about their current situation. Kim and Pete's current situation. Okay, what's the energy behind Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson? All right, really? Okay. Across the room. Okay, first card, high up. It, it speaks of a marriage, a marriage, a government, a public company, a corporation, official building, or official situation. Okay, so the card says this, this is an official situation. Okay, it's official. But then we have the devil card that popped out here. Jealousy or trouble, able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. So there's some type of... Some type of bond is holding them together. Okay, I don't know what that bond is, but we're going to find out. Okay, the next card is the Three of Wands. Travel overland, surveying your kingdom. So, it's like they're... I see them looking... I don't know if they're looking at... Looking at relocating. Looking for houses. Okay, with the Three of Wands. I see... Um, them looking at different situations and holding on to each other. And then we have the inner strength confrontation with yourself and other people. With the strength card, it's like, it seems like this relationship is growing in strength. Okay, against the odds of what people are saying against about them. Okay, then we have the ten of pentacles with money contentment, signing money agree agreements. Okay, now with the Kardashians, you don't know if there's a contract between these two or what, but it's saying that they're they're coming up with money ideas as well, okay? And the Page of Pentacles, which speaks of a young woman to 25 years old, student, male, or female. So somebody's showing up as a student here as well. That's very given in this relationship. Somebody, male or female, is given to this relationship. Either some type of trouble or jealousy or feeling bound to this relationship. But then we have the Six of Cups, which is a happy house. Four of Ones. Okay, they looking happy, y'all. Two of Pentacles. They balancing out some things in their relationship. With the Ace of Cups. Mm. Three of Pentacles. Y'all, I ain't never seen... Okay, so these cards are looking kind of good for them. Except this devil card. I don't know what's going on with this devil card, but we'll see. Okay. Let's find out more about this hyphen. Why is the hyphen card here for Kim and Pete? Why is the hyphen card here for Kim and Pete? Okay. King of Swords with Young Man. I mean, a, a man over 25 years old. Ain't nothing young about him. Okay, brown eyes, brown hair, cold, abrasive, demand, respect. Wow, okay, so. 
We got a man over 25, brown eyes and brown hair. Is that Pete? Showing up as the king of sword, cold, abrasive, demands respect. With with a marriage here. So that could be Kanye, that could be Kanye too. I don't know. Let's find out who this person is. Who's this king of swords here? But if somebody's showing up over the age of 25 with brown eyes and brown hair. That could, they're showing up a cold, abrasive, demands respect, father figure. So this could be Kanye and, Kim, and Kim's marriage. So it's like with their relationship, it started off because Kim was in the marriage, it seems like, or a, a, a official situation with a king of swords, okay? The father of her children, who is showing that she's bound to, okay? So what they got to do with Pete and Kim, but I guess that's how they started the relationship. Give me more about this Hierophant card here. Why I say here? Okay, yeah, that was a message. Of course, Kanye sent a lot of messages to Pete. <laughs> so there was a lot of messages from this King of Swords concerning a marriage. Okay, so, okay, I guess that's all in their energy. Of course, that's how they started the relationship off. Okay, because it says something about um, an official situation. So, a marriage. With the devil card. Okay, so, since Kanye is showing up, it's showing up as because of Kanye was jealous. Or was Kanye causing trouble in their relationship. So, why is the devil card here? Okay. The card we have is the chariot. Yeah, it was a 911 situation, movement of residence, a journey, a victory over a situation or a problem, balancing out the opposite polarities. So it looks like because of what happened between Kanye and her in their marriage and all these tweets and all these messages that this king of swords was given out that were cold, brutal. And this also is a cold father. It's a father as well. Okay, the father of her children concerning her marriage okay it's like i don't know if they moved in together or changed residence but they feel like they received victory over this situation with kanye and that kind of made them come together and it was like opposite of tracks with them it was like if kim wasn't going through this with kanye she probably would have never been drawn and attracted to pete like this okay but because of the drama that kanye was bringing okay it's like Pete came in and almost saved the day in a time that she was going through some hard times with this chariot. And it seems like they may be moving as well to, to avoid drama. So give me more about this three of ones and this chariot. Yeah, we got um, money coming in with the ace of pentacles. Um, the, a divine wish being granted for them. For them. Okay, what type of divine wish is being granted for them? Oh, did they get released from prison? They got released from this bondage with this imprisonment card. Probably probably because of what was going on with Kanye, they spent a lot of time in the house together. They spent a lot of time together, and because of that, that brought them together. Like two opposites start to attract towards each other. Okay. Give me more about this imprisonment card and this Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot and the Devil. Tie them all together. Make it make sense. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. It's making sense for sure. We got the Enlightenment card. So, it's like Kim learned something. She may have learned something um, in this situation concerning you know responsibilities how hard it is to raise the kids by herself it probably was too much to handle okay because you see baby bottles you see all type of stuff she's falling off the scale it, it was a hard time balancing things and here comes here come uh and then look at this person over here holding a sword that could be her baby dad that could be kanye but then here come pete pete comes in and he balances the scale out right okay and it's looking like this could be a marriage this could be something that can grow into a marriage here because I see them looking at houses together look surveying the land holding on to each other okay falling on this marriage so let's see 
give me more about this strength card and the, the three of wands and the strength card. We know Kim will get married in a couple of weeks. Okay, but they said all is okay, all that clearly is not gold, Kim. It says, um, look beyond the clouds, girl. It says something about money improvement. Look beyond the clouds because everything that you choose at this moment, Kim, is not always good, girl. Okay. Give me more about the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here for Kim and Pete's relationship? Okay. There's some type of ending. Some type of ending. And it's still speaking about money. Like some type of money loss. Or money being redistributed. Okay. Time. Again, balancing the scale. It's like the scale is being balanced when Pete came in. But then again, I don't know if it's continuing to be balanced. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay. We got the estrangement. Okay, an estrangement. Somebody's not speaking about something concerning a lover. Authority. I'm not carrying the bones, honey. And a dreamer. Hmm. A lover. Estrangement. Why is the estrangement here? picking up here when it comes to authority and this okay let's see what these cards say okay cupid arrows have faith love is coming surprise invitation or a meeting hesitation there's some type of hesitation here with unconditional loving giving and receiving affection falling in love but that's a separation of sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of the future okay so yeah i'm seeing that you know, Kim, she's paying attention to what's being said in the media. And she's and she's paying attention to the red flags when it comes to this relationship. Okay? Because there it is falling on the devil card. There is some type of jealousy and trouble here. And it says something about being able to break free of the chains. She's thinking her chains is um, Kanye. She's breaking free of chains of Kanye. Okay? She's not seeing the truth of some things. Some things come to end. Everything is not glitter, not gold, girl. Okay, some surprise is going to come with your lover. Okay. Yeah, that may bring some sadness thinking about you. Unsure of the future. So she kind of unsure a little bit about him. So she's trying to get the, um, it says strength. It says inner strength, confrontation with yourself or other people with the two of pentacles. So she's trying to about, so they're trying to balance something out here. We are trying to balance out with the strength and the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The strength and the two of pentacles. Okay, still speaking about a level of concern, honey. A message. It's like she's receiving messages. Like, I, I think her intuition is starting to kick in. You got the stars. Yeah, there's still signs, honey. There's still signs that either she's not paying attention to or she's paying attention to. Yeah, some type of weird. I mean, this whip card right here is it can stand for suffering, conflict, um, sexual. Purge. Intensity arguments violence, domestic issues. Give me more about this whip card. Why is the whip card here? Mature woman. Lord. It's going to be a conflict with another woman. Oh, Lord. Like conflict with now, 
you know the main man belongs with the main woman, right? And then the mature woman, it could be Kim, it could be an older woman, or it could be the other woman. Okay, it seems like there's another woman here, but I know, I know this boy is not going to cheat on that girl. So, let's see, why is the mature woman, main man, and the whip here? The chaser. Chaser is, okay, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to see that if they get together, okay, Kim, she's showing up as the mature woman here, and him as the main man, I'm seeing um, that there's going to be some type of conflict between them, okay? Something's going to happen that's going to cause this relationship to seem like it's turned into a codependent relationship. Okay. I don't know if he's going to start having a fear of abandonment or something like that. But it's going to bring some concerns to her. Okay. Which may even cause a slight separation here or a separation between the two. Because even in this marriage card, she looked hesitant. Okay, so I don't know some signs. Some signs are, some signs are going to start coming to her that she's going to be paying attention to. Okay, that's gonna, um, you know, kind of send her running and him chasing. Okay, so give me more about this whip card. Why is the whip card here and the chaser? Okay, just just what I didn't want to see a tower moment, honey. Yeah, it's gonna be some type of moment here, some type of. Mm -hmm, this card is about argument, suffering, abuse. Uh, repo, um, conflict, addiction, purge, a tarot moment is going to happen, honey. A, uh, a accident, things happening very quickly at light and pace, okay? But somebody's going to be feeling like they was left out in the cold. And when they got left out in the cold, it's going to be called some kind of money problems. Turn your back and walking away knowing that there was nothing that you can do. So I'm seeing that there's going to be something that's going to happen between these two. That's going to be a big deal. Okay, somebody's going to be left out in the cold. I don't know if it's some type of jealousy. Or something, but there's something with this whip, honey. That's going to turn this relationship to a codependent relationship. Somebody's going to be running out while somebody's going to be chasing. Okay, but then we got the Ten of Pentacles here. Give me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Money contentment. Signing of a money contract. Or money agreement. Why is that here? Somebody's going to be walking away, huh? Contract or not. Okay. Oh. We got the hangman here. It speaks of getting stronger in oneself after a light a lot of deliberation and delaying in life. Oh honey, I don't know somebody going to jail. <laughs> Why did I pick up jail? Because it's up under the chariot and that always give me the police. Give me more about the chariot and the hangman. Why is it? And then the imprisonment card came out. I don't know. Somebody's going to do something that's going to... Money fluctuation. Being offered something that you do not want. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to get to the point. She, it seems like she's going to get tired of old boy. Okay. He's going to show, start showing up as somebody immature with the page of pentacles. Yep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. King of Cups. Man over 25, blue eyes, too fair, too brown hair, gentle, emotional, shy. Gonna be fighting, honey. Gonna be fighting. Okay, our arguments, battles all around you. Okay. Because uh, she's gonna start seeing him as being immature, is what I see. Okay. But he don't see it that way. He feel like, you know, he ain't doing nothing wrong. He just being shy, gentle, whatever. But and he care about it. He's showing he care. But it's gonna be a lot of arguments. This in six of cups. Why is the six of cups here? Because he already sending out bad vibes to people. We got the two of swords. Peace and harmony, honey. Needing to take the blindfolds off. Somebody got blindfolds on in this relationship. Look like him. About her king of pentacles. A man over 25. Dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogant, powerful, honey. Queen of swords, honey. She gonna turn to that queen of swords on them. Okay. Talking about brown, a woman over 25, brown eyes, brown hair, 
cold, demeaning authority. She's going to be demanding authority at this point with this four of swords because she's not going to be able to have no peace. Okay. It's going to, she's going to be sick and tired of him. Okay. Restless. Okay. Wishing fears, frustration, it, whatever going on right here that's going to cause this tire moment with this whip moment. I don't know. It's going to do anything with these kids or if you whoop these kids i don't know if you don't whoop the, one of these kids honey you don't whoop one of them boys with a will with a belt okay has somebody crying kim gonna be pissed off about it she's gonna be frustrated about it okay it says young man a cup need need more confidence okay and honey money loss all is not lost if you look behind you you have something to savage to say honey how did it go left how did it go left, honey? With the happy home. Because she got the blinders on. This girl wants something so happy. She want to be happy so bad. She got blinders on. Because we got the Knight of Pentacles. Still speaking of a young man. <clears throat> with a message to share. Trying to hold the balance. <clears throat> Element of surprise, good or bad. With a new beginning. Lord have mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me pull out the millennial cards, honey. Come on, sum this reading up for me. What's going on in this reading, especially with this nine of swords and this whip card and this tower moment? What is it all about? Oh my goodness, shook. It's going to be a serious situation that's going to be blasted, y'all. Can't believe what you heard. Call off guard, unsettled, shocked, surprised, speechless. Kim, get this man away from your kids. Okay, whatever. Get your... Because uh, I'm not get, picking up no good vibe here. Fear of missing out of opportunity, feeling pressured choices. Oh my God. Okay, adulting. Yeah, somebody needs to grow up here. Okay, taking charge of your life. It says put in the work maturity, being responsible. I feel like he's going to show his very immature side, okay? And it's going to be a lot of sh shade that's going to be thrown, honey. Look at him with the shades on. It says being rude towards someone, not being liked by someone. Insult, slick, disrespectful. This is going to turn to the left, honey. This relationship going to go all the way to the left. And she got too many kids to have somebody around her that's immature, okay, that needs to grow up. And with this whip card, honey, it speaks of some type of issue, okay, a major issue, especially with this tarot moment, okay. It went downhill, and Kanye started this reading off, okay, being concerned. He was right to be concerned, okay, because... I don't know. It's going to at the end of the reading, it says a place of wor worship. Okay, honey, they're going to have to go to Sunday service. When all this over, they're going to have to go back to Kanye. Kanye started the reading off, and then you got to go end the reading off at Sunday service, honey. Because it's going to be so much shade that's going to be thrown. I don't know if he in there whooping them kids. I don't know what he in there doing. Okay, keep your hands off that lady kids. I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of issue with a whip that's going to cause some drama. Because somebody is immature and won't grow up, okay? And whatever it is, it's going to leave them shook, honey. I see a lot of lot of issues here. Okay, a lot of issues here with an older woman and a young man, honey. Well, this is going to be a codependent relationship, okay? Somebody's going to have to walk away from this situation, okay? Because all that glitter is not gold here with this seven of wands, period. And guess who, guess who called it, okay? Kanye West. So go ahead and get ready to go to Sunday service. Okay? It's official. That's going to conclude the reading, y'all. Okay? This another Kardashian marriage or relationship. There you have it. From the Met Gala red carpet. Bye.